So now we will see another concept in computer graphics that is a 3D sharing. So in this video, I'm going to explain the concepts like what, uh, what are the types of the 3D transformations. Before trying to understand the concept of the sharing, let's discuss what is a transformation and what are the types of the transformation. So one of the type of tra 3D transformation is the 3D sharing mode. Okay, so what is 3D sharing and sharing in X direction and sharing in Y direction and sharing in Z direction and we will work out with one example problem. So by the end of this video, you'll get a complete clarity on what exactly this 3D sharing is. Okay, so we all know that transformation is nothing but changing the object position, uh, object size or object uh, uh, shape like that okay so transformation it's nothing but modifying and changing the position of an existing object remember that we have to apply the transformation technique the scaling translation rotation sharing reflection anything only on the existing objects right so uh, in, if you consider the 3d transformation the 3d transformation transformation is going to manipulate the view of a 3d object based on its original position by simply modifying the physical attributes means the present attributes the present coordinates of an object by simply changing the uh, modifying the physical attributes of that object by using various methods like translation rotation scaling sharing reflection etc so if you see in this example this is a 3d object which is a cube present on xyz plane the different types of transformations that are used in the computer graphics are translation, scaling, rotation, sharing and the reflection. So these are all the different types of transformations that can be applied on the 2D objects as well as the 3D objects. Okay, so 2D objects as well as 3D objects. So in this video, we are going to know about what exactly the 3D sharing is. So first of all, what is a sharing? Sharing is used to slant the object of 3D plane. Either it can slant towards the x-axis or it can slant towards the y-axis or can it slant towards the z-axis. Slanting. So if you consider the translation, translation is going to change the position of an object. Position changes. So whatever, wherever the position, the xyz plane, that position changes. And coming to the rotation, rotation is going to, based on angle, based on angle, it rotates the object. Rotates object. Okay. So, if you consider the scaling, scaling is going to increase or decrease the size of an object. Increase or decrease size of object. Right. So, scaling is increase or decrease the size of an object. Reflection means is a mirror image. Reflection is mirror image. Mirror image of a 3D object. Then what about the sharing? Sharing is going to slide the change. It is not increase or decrease the size. It is not changing its position. The object is remains there only. In XYZ plane, the object if it is there, it remains there only. It's only simply slide the uh, object. The object is slider, means laying down, li laying up like that. So slightly changes, land the object in a 3D plane, either in X direction, Y direction or Z direction. Sharing in X direction, sharing in Y direction, sharing in uh, Z direction. These are the different types of sharing transformations. If you consider the sharing in X direction, the coordinates X remains same. So just like a rotation, uh, x remain x is the same the old coordinate as well as the new coordinate x remains same if you share in x direction only y and z coordinates are changed y and z change it can be done through sharing transformation so this is the sx sharing transformation one s y z okay because here the sx is the same only so it is not changing only y and z is going to be changed so, if you consider a point P on a 3D plane, it's a original coordinates. The new coordinates X dash, Y dash, Z dash is P into SX. Okay. So, the coordinates P dash can also be calculated using the below function. Like Xn is equal to X naught only because it remains unchanged. It's the same. X sharing. X sharing means X remains same. And Yn is Y naught into SY naught SX naught. 
and Zn is equal to Z0 plus Z into X0. Okay. So, here Sx will not be there because here there is no X, uh, X remains the same. There is no sharing factor for the X in X direction. Suppose sharing in Y direction, here Y remains same. Y same and X and Z are changed. It is done through the transformation matrix. So, see here, here the SY remains same. So, the SY we didn't require because it remains same only. The sharing factor of Y is not required. Only the SX and SZ sharing factors are required. So, here also if we consider the point P in a 3D plane performs a sharing transformation in Y direction, then the new coordinates of uh, X dash, Y dash, Z dash is XN, Y naught, ZN. X and re Y is remain same. That's why Y naught only. But Xn is changing and Zn is also changing by applying the sharing factor of Xx and Y. Z. So the coordinates of P dash X and uh, the new coordinates can be calculated by using this formula. Xn, Y and Zn. And in the same way for the sharing in Z direction. Here the Z remains unchanged and Xy coordinates are changed. It is done through the transformation matrix. So, this is a transformation matrix. So, if you clearly observe here, the SZ sharing factor is not there because the S, uh, Z coordinates remains uh, same. Remains same. So, whenever it remains same, it doesn't require the, it doesn't require the sharing factor of Z. Okay, if you want to calculate the new coordinates for the uh, sharing transformation in Z direction. So, this is a formula. So, here the Z remains unchanged and the SX, S, XN and YN are the, if you want to find out the coordinates, the sharing trans, uh, transformation is X0 is equal to SX into Z0 and Y0 is equal to SY into Z0. Okay. So, now let's uh, apply these formulas on the problem. So, if you consider a cube of O, A, B, C, D, F, G, H. So, see, this, see here, this is a cube, okay, which is a big size. So, these are all the coordinates here. Here, we have to perform along Z direction. We are sharing parameters. Sx is equal to 2, Sy is equal to 3, okay. And here, they are being given the Z. Why they didn't given the Z? Because sharing along Z direction. Whenever the Z along Z direction means, uh, Z remains the same. Whatever the Z coordinates are there, Z, Z direction coordinates are all remains the same. So, only the changes in the XY coordinates only. Okay. So, that means this is a SZ. Let's calculate the new coordinates. O dash is equal to this old coordinate. So, here the, the Z, SZ is not required. So, only SS, SY. Okay. So, these are the new coordinates after sharing. And A dash after sharing. So, these are the A coordinates and this is SX. SX is 2 and SY is equal to 3. SZ will not require. So, these are the new coordinates of A and uh, new coordinates of B dash after sharing is this. And new coordinates of C dash after sharing is 2, 4, 0. And the new coordinates of D dash after sharing. This is a D and if you multiply it with the sharing factor along Z direction. Jet, jet sharing. So, these are the new coordinates of D dash and this is the new coordinates of E dash. F dash new coordinates are 4, 6, 2. If you apply F into the sharing factor sharing and new and new and new coordinates of G dash is 6, 6, 2. Okay. So, see here the final object the new coordinates is this. Here the position of the object is not changed. It's simply slides slanted angle just simply slides the object. The object is uh, slightly uh, bended. Okay. This is the sharing. A sharing here it's about Z axis. So, it's sharing towards the Z. It's sharing towards the Z. Okay. So, this is about the sharing 3D rotation, uh, 3D sharing uh, transformation. Uh, I hope you get it. Still, if you are facing any doubts, please let me know. Thank you.